She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here then hi I'm Lauren and on my channel we mostly talk about anything luxury but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty so if you're interested in any of these topics please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video so in today's video I'm presenting you an unboxing from the brand Triple Fat Goose if you're interested in hearing how this brand compares to Montclair and Canada Goose in terms of fit, warmth index and price, then please keep on watching. So first of all, I'd like to start off with a short disclaimer. I've actually received this product for free in exchange for my honest opinion. But as always, I'll tell you exactly what I really think, no sugar coating. Also, if you're interested in purchasing this jacket or any other product by the brand Triple Fat Goose, the link will be in the description box down below so you can go ahead and see that. Alright, so the model that I'll be presenting you today is called the Elaria Parka, which I got in size small. Don't worry, I will actually back up the camera in a second so you can go ahead and see the jacket a little bit better because I realize it's extremely close to the camera. Um, but just quickly for size reference, I'm 5'11 or 180 centimeters, about 125 pounds or 55 kilos. And I usually wear a size either extra small or small, kind of depending on the brand. Also, I currently live in the northeastern United States, but I actually used to live in Canada beforehand, so I know a thing or two about winter jackets, you can definitely trust me. Alright, so first let's talk about the fit of this item, and like I mentioned before, I actually got a size small, and not a size extra small, because I actually wanted to have some room underneath to fit like a thicker type of sweater. I felt like if I got size extra small, it would be really, really snug, and I couldn't really put on like a sweater underneath so I feel like the size small works perfectly for me if I want to put a thick sweater underneath which is exactly what I wanted I think the fit is really perfect I love that it has two features that are kind of similar to Canada Goose so the first one is that it's got an elastic band in the middle over here um, so you can go ahead and pull on this and if you pull on it it makes this jacket a little bit more snug so it fits perfectly to your body it's kind of nice um, and then what I also like about this jacket and what's the most important feature in my mind um, is that it fits both my shoulders and my arms. So like I said, I'm 5'11", which is super, super tall. So obviously I have broader shoulders than the norm. Um, and I also have extra long arms. And what I really like about this jacket is the um, ending of the arms over here comes with this little thing where you can actually put your um, hands inside and it kind of protects your fingers as you go along. Um, I'll actually show you in the try-on, don't worry, um, it will be very clear from that. I realize that you may have some difficulty seeing as I'm holding the jacket on camera, but you'll go ahead and see those details. But yeah, for me it's amazing that it kind of fits, um, and it fits definitely, I think that it comes like here. So it fits more than my arm's length, including like some of my hand, which is really great. So yeah, in terms of fit, I'm really happy with this product. I feel like I got the perfect size for myself. They also have a size chart on their website, so if you're slightly confused about what size you should get, it's actually super helpful. All right, so let's talk about the warmth index, and for that, I felt like it was necessary that I put on the jacket, and let me tell you, I am so warm. I'm kind of sweating already. Um, and so for comparison, I actually own a Canada Goose jacket, which is the Victoria model in color green and then I also own two Montclair jackets So the first one that I have is the model Ambroise in black um, And then I also have another one called Rideburger in uh, black as well <laughs> um, So those are kind of the jackets that I'll be comparing this one to and let me tell you This one is the warmest of them all by far like by an absolute wide margin I feel like the only one that could even come close would be the Montclair Rideburger one because it's a ski jacket but the only thing is that one is kind of a shorter jacket it ends at waist level this one is obviously really long so for me it ends slightly below my knees but again I'm 5'11 or 180 centimeters so um, things are likely that you'll be shorter than me so for you it's likely going to come to like your calves or something like that 
but yeah it's extremely warm um, I cannot believe how warm it is I feel like I can't really think of what to say because I am so warm right now um, but it's really nice because you know once you're outside in the winter it's really really comfortable as well so it also doesn't really feel like it's heavy which is what I like it doesn't feel like you know you're like have this massive weight on you but you can definitely feel feel the warmth without having the weight. Also, when it comes to general characteristics of the jacket, like I mentioned before, I feel like it's very similar to Canada Goose, despite actually being warmer. So it seems like they've kind of taken the same ideas from them, but actually made them better. So the first characteristic that I can think of is there is an inside pocket over here, which is super practical. I mean, this doesn't really help the warmth index, but it's just super practical. Also, I've already told you, it comes with like an elastic band over here so you can go ahead and make that tighter and this will make the jacket fit a lot closer to your body and therefore make you warmer, you know, there will be less air um, and less space between your body and the jacket so you'll obviously feel warmer. Another one of the characteristics that I wanted to talk to you about is the fur um, over here, I don't know if you can see it. Um, there is obviously a fur and the fur is coyote fur, so exactly the same as Canada Goose. Um, I feel like the origin is Canada, the origin of the fur. Um, so I'm not sure if that makes it super warmer, but it's actually a really nice design. I love it. I mean, I'm sure that if you actually put the hood on like this, oh my god, <laughs> my hair is going to look like a mess after this, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, if you put the hood on, this is a lot warmer actually. I generally do not, um, even with the Canada Goose that I own, I don't do that. I mean, the only times that I've done that, to be honest, are when I've been caught in like the blizzard um, by surprise walking in the streets of Montreal. What an amazing <laughs> memory. Uh, but yeah, generally I don't, but obviously you can put it on and it makes it a lot warmer as well. Um, oh, let me remove this. <sighs> so warm. Um, okay. <laughs> So yeah, you can go ahead and do that. Otherwise, the jacket is made of um, goose down, which is similar to Canada goose, but I don't know why. It seems like it's, I don't know, a different quality of goose down or something, but it's so much warmer. I'm like honestly sweating my ass off right now. It's so, so warm. I mean, it's the padding doesn't seem that thick. And like I said, the jacket is not super heavy, but it makes it feel so much warmer than Canada Goose. So I feel like really in terms of fit and warmth index, this brand is on point. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about the price. So the price of this jacket is 800 US dollars plus tax. So it's about the same price as Canada Goose. I feel like my jacket, the Victoria model was about 850 if I remember correctly. So it's about the same price um, and it is far below Montclair, which I feel like the jackets that I own currently retail for like 2000 plus something something. Um, so obviously that's a massive price difference, but it can be compared to Canada Goose because the prices are similar. So now let's go ahead and find out if it's worth it because that's actually what you want to know. Um, so I would say yes, um, if you favor quality. So obviously the quality is amazing. Like I said, the fit was perfect. The warmth index was perfect. But for you, if like showing off a logo is more important, if you know, getting something that's quote designer is more important, if you want to like, I don't know, show off in the streets of New York City, for example, then I would still stick with either Canada Goose or Montclair because obviously these brands are very well known. Um, it's easy to impress people with these jackets, but this one is not exactly well known. So it kind of depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for quality over um, designer logo then I would definitely go ahead and get it but if not um, you know if you do want to show off if you, uh, getting something that's designer is important for you then this brand may not be the best choice for you so let's go ahead and do a short conclusion I honestly have nothing bad to say about this brand or this jacket so far it's only positive my only concern would be that it could actually be perceived as a fake um, Canada Goose jacket because it is so similar. I mean every feature of this jacket looks about the same as the one that I have um, So I feel like I would be slightly uncomfortable walking like you know I said in the streets of New York City with this jacket because I feel like um, it could be perceived as like either a wannabe or a fake or something like that so I will definitely keep this jacket and wear it in the Canadian countryside because frankly nobody cares about what you're wearing. The only thing that matters is that you're warm enough 
um, and that the jacket fits you. This jacket has an amazing quality to it, so I'm sure that it will last a really long time. So I'll be happy to wear it for these kinds of occasions, but personally, I think that I will avoid walking in the city with it. for watching I hope that you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you in my next one she's a Mona Lisa everyone's not enough to see her. she's a Mona Lisa